Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do another tackle prep tip. And this is a tip that centers around one of my favorite and most productive baits, and that's a bladed jig, particularly a striking thunder cricket. But those chatterbait style lures, those vibrating jigs, are really effective day in, day out at locating and catching fish, and a lot of times some of your better fish. So there's some trailers, there's a lot of different trailer options. I'm gonna give you one of my absolute favorite that I feel like is very productive, but also I'm gonna share with you how I trim it and how I modify it before I rig it up on my bait. Before I get into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content that I'm putting out there. And then obviously drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And with that, let's get right into it. So the bladed jig, just an amazing, fish locator, but also has a great ability to hook and land big fish. And it draws reaction strikes, but also appeals to some fish that uh, just won't hit other baits in certain situations. But you gotta have a trailer on there. You really do, and there's so many different types. And one of my favorites is a striking blade minnow. I love this bait because it's got a, you know, that fish type profile in the tail, and then it's segmented and so that bait can kind of articulate and move through the water. It's got great action, uh, really fits well. It was designed to be put on back of that Thunder Cricket, bladed jigs type lures. And um, I've had other guys on tour remark about how much they like this, this uh, trailer. And so I wanna share with you a couple of the modifications that I do to it, actually one in particular, and how I rig it on the bait. I feel like a lot of times, you know, with any kind of trailer bait, whether it's a jig, a swim jig, a spinner bait, and then a bladed jig, you wanna have fish focused on the hook or business portion of the bait. So you don't have those missed or swiped style bites, or they might just come back and hang on to the back. And you're gonna have some of those regardless. But if you can kind of trim this down to where they're not only focused, they're kind of appealed to by the trailer, but they also, get the business end, you're gonna hook and land more fish. So with this quick tip, I really believe you're gonna hook and land more fish solidly in the mouth. It requires a pair of scissors. So essentially, I feel like you could put this entire bait on the back of a, uh, a bladed jig and you'll do just fine. And I've done it, I've caught fish, but I feel like you can increase your percentage to a degree just by trimming right around the gill section. I'm gonna kind of get close here so you can see. See, because here's the fish head body, the eyeballs, you can kind of see there's the eyes and the, the, the gills right behind there, just kind of like that. I'm gonna cut it nice and clean, just like that. And still a you know good sized portion of a bait. And then instead of having that flat portion up against the skirt, I want the skirt to kind of flow naturally and not billow out just more than it would normally without this. So I'm just gonna, kind of trim the edges, see that? Just kind of trimming the edges. I don't want, I just want to remove that blunt end like that. And I'll continue to hit it with the scissors. And as you can see, I've kind of rounded it off. It still has a bit of a, you know, kind of a flat front to it, but it's rounded off somewhat so that the skirt can kind of fall naturally. And then I'm gonna come back, turn my bladed jig upside down, and then I'm just gonna take my uh, blade minnow and I'm gonna run it right up on the hook. And the key here is getting it nice and straight. Just run it nice and straight all the way down the body. And then I pop it out right in front of that first segment right there, if you can see that. And then I just run it up, there's a little metal barb there. And then the head has a portion there that will help you Keep your bladed jig nice and straight, or your bladed jig trailer nice and straight, and then boom, here you go. And what I really like about it is just that overall package. Instead of it really trailering out behind it too far, it's just, it looks like it fits with the overall profile. And I feel like you, you're gonna have fish that are uh, attracted to the body portion, but with that, with this kind of a rigging system, even if they kind of come up behind it, they're gonna get some hook. And, and that's how you're gonna hook and land more fish, hook them more solidly back inside the mouth, fewer on the lip area, 
they're just gonna take in that whole bait instead of if the bait was a little bit longer or the trailer was a little bit longer. But that's my tip for rigging a trailer on a bladed jig, specifically these body-shaped type minnow baits that you can put on the back of a bladed jig and the, the uh, striking blade minnows, the one that I'm using here. I match them tone on tone, just kind of uh, straighten them out, make them sure you get them straight on the shank of the hook, but also trim them down so that they fit nicely. That's it for now, guys. Just a quick tip, tackle prep tip, on how I rig my bladed jig trailer, specifically the blade minnow, for all my bladed jig applications. Thanks for watching, and until next time, good fishing.